and welcome to the Night Vision Effect tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to recreate a night vision effect like you see in the image here. It is a very dark image, it's grainy, it has scan lines, it goes from a dark color, black in this case, to white, and all between it's green. And green because the this is the characteristic color of a night vision. This is because uh, or, or the most uh, night vision oculars are working on a base of green um, because green is a color which our eyes more sensitive to and it's also easier to look at green screens for a long period than to look at a black and white one that's why early computers has uh, or tended to be green and those ones who are old enough here, um, they know what I'm talking about. Badly, I'm old enough too, so I know them as well. So let's begin with the base image of the soldier and we start right now. Here we have the basic image of the soldier and it's an RGB image, but I want to create a duotone image out of this. So I have to convert it and I'm converted. Uh, I'm going to image mode and I cannot click on duotone because it's grayed out. So I have to first convert it to a grayscale because the duotone is based on grayscale. So I'm going to click on grayscale and I discard the message of Photoshop. Photoshop is telling me that I can do the same with an adjustment layer, with a black and white adjustment layer. But I want to do that with the mode. And next step is to, again, to click on image, mode, and this time I can click duotone. And I have predefined um, these colors before because I have tried to uh, record this tutorial many times and it's predefined in my case. You have the default uh, values here and it's monotone and um, you have to switch to duotone and click on the first ink color here and choose a greenish, uh, slightly darker green, green here. Uh, I have chosen the number 25 BF21 and click OK. And then you have given a name to the color, in my case light green, and then you have choose a color for the ink too. So click on the color, and this time we are we are needing a little bit of a grayish green here. Uh, the number is A8D9A7, and click OK. Now we have the duotone conversion, and I want to switch back to RGB colors right now. We click on that and we are ready for the next step. The next step I want to create a little bit of unsharpness on the edges like here on on these edges here and I want only the sharpness in the middle of the image. For this I'm going to copy this layer. At first I click on the lock here to convert it from a background layer to a normal layer and by holding down the Alt key and dragging it up, I copy this layer here. And we can name it to Unsharp. And now I'm going to Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and I'm going with a radius of about five to six pixels and I click OK. And now the whole image is blurry. And to get rid of the blurriness in the middle, I want to create a layer mask. And with a radial gradient, I want to get rid of the blurriness in the middle. And to get the midpoint, I dragging a helper line, a guideline here until it snaps in the middle, like here and as well for the horizontal and it snaps here. Now I click 
in the center with the black foreground color and the gradient tool here and the radial gradient I click on the midpoint on the center and I drag it out to this point here and now I'm getting back the sharpness of the original image and if we have a look on the mask you can see here it's totally sharp and the further we go out more blurriness is in the image. Now let's bring in some contrast into the image. For this I'm going to add a level adjustment layer and let's go with um, values here 71 and 230 in my case. So it gets a little bit more contrast here. Then we are going to bring all layers together by clicking shift Control, Alt and E together. This makes a merged copy of all layers in one layer. And now we are going to add some noise. In this case we are going to filter, noise, add noise. And we are going to, uh, with the uh, amount of 5%, and Gaussian and monochromatic, we're adding some noise to the image. As you can see now, it's grainy and it has this specific look here. And now we're going to add the scan lines. For this, we are creating a new document with uh, 8 by 8 pixel. And 72 pixels per inch is enough and we create it and uh, we zoom in and then we fill it with white like this and then with the marquee selection tool I'm going to select the half of the image and I switch to black and again fill it that with black. With Ctrl D I get rid of the selection and now I have uh, this black and white plane here. And now I'm going to define pattern, edit, define pattern and I name it scanline. Scanline 1. Okay and I'm going to back to my image and now I'm going to add a pattern overlay to this image here. I'm going to FX to layer effects or layer styles and I'm going to pattern overlay. And I choose my newly added pattern here, the scan lines and I'm going to, yeah, let's go with uh, in my case it is, uh, let's go with this and change the blend mode to, um, let's go with soft light and I go a little bit more down about 53% uh, is good for me here and now we're going to click OK and now we have added the scan lines. Now to give it a little bit of a better intense look I'm going to the burn tool here. Let's go with the burn tool and we're choosing a soft brush and make it really big. Well, a little bit more yeah, like that. And with uh, opacity exposure of 50%, that's okay. I'm going to go around in a circular motion here around the image to burn a little bit here to make it darker on the outside here and here again. So until it looks 
fine like that. I think this is this looks good. Here a little bit more and here. This helps to bring the attention more to the middle of the of the image and it looks better if it's dark on the edges. Like this. I think this is this is good. Okay. Now <coughs> we add some more uh, like the final touch here. For this I'm going to adjustment. I'm going to add a U and saturation adjustment layer. And I set the, the U to let's go with um, plus 10 and the saturation a little bit lower. Mm, that's okay. Minus 8. And as you can see, we have desaturated a little bit the image and made it a little bit uh, grayer, a little bit more this greenish gray. <coughs> then I'm going to add a level adjustment layer and I drag this, the left slider, to the right a little bit so that it looks good for me like that. And now we can add some more final touch. This is uh, works on a merged layer again. So I'm going to merge all layers together again with Shift, Control, Alt, and E. Then I'm going to filter, camera raw filter. And hopefully it will start and not crash Photoshop. And we're going to the FX here and we are lowering the amount here so we get a little bit more of a vignetting here and click OK. And now, yeah, there we are. This is our finished image. And as you can see, we have a really cool looking uh, night vision effect. Now you can add some text uh, on the image with a really bright green to give it more uh, the look of a night vision ocular, let's say with timestamp or with uh, meters or whatever you want to put in. But this is the night vision effect and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you learned something. And if you like the tutorial, please subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment or give me a thumbs up. Everything is welcome. See you next time. Bye bye.